Speaking of all the market action, let's put the spotlight on a buzzing stock. This is a century ply. It's up about 17, 18 odd percent in the last one month. It's jumped almost 21 percent from its recent lows. Uh, mid caps are buzzing and within that uh, you have the stock that has done well for its, itself. Uh, what's the business outlook looking like? Will they be able to sustain this momentum going forward? Keshav Bhajanka, the executive director at uh, the company is with us. Uh, Keshav, uh, morning. Uh, good to have you on the show. Uh, talk to us about uh, the recent trends in the business as far as the demand momentum goes. What's the sense that you're picking up? We are closing out the financial year as well. What's the kind of growth that you expect to close out the year at? Um, you see, in the current financial year, a few of our segments are doing quite well. If you look at uh, the plywood division per se, the plywood business, which is the core business that we have, has been going quite well. There's a business called Commercial Vineyard that has not been doing that well. Um, our MDF division has been growing month on month and quarter on quarter and has been doing quite well. Um, in terms of laminates, I think that we have been doing a steady growth of close to 10-15% and that is likely to continue for the entire year. So I think blended growth for this year will be 15% plus, definitely. Oh. Laminates, of course, is something that we've spoken about in the past for you as well, and it's been key growth areas. You uh, undertook some uh, expansion on the laminate front as well. How is that going? Is there more expansion that you'll be taking? And what's the overall contribution to laminates to the business right now? Okay, so currently, uh, the expansion that we have taken, we are utilizing about 50% of the same. So I believe it will take us the next year, or maybe the next year and a half, to complete the entire capacity utilization. As such, I don't see any increase in laminate capacity for, say, the next uh, year or so. Um, and your second question was... Um, the to overall contribution of laminates to your business currently, to your top line? Well, contribution would be close to 25 crore. 25 percent, sorry. 25 percent, which roughly amounts to how much? Uh, close to 500 crores. Close to 500 crores. So, uh, a big part now coming in from laminates. Let's talk about costs as well because uh, in the first half of the year, there were some concerns on the cost front, especially with crude and rupee the way they were. Now, we've seen sustained appreciation in the rupee and crude prices have also by and large stabilized. Is that going to add to relief as far as margins go? Um, you see, in terms of uh, the rupee, I think there's greater stability. I believe that the rupee has been around 69, 60, 69, 70 since the start of the year. Obviously, it increased and then it came back to this level. So that adds on to margins without a doubt. When it comes to um, crude, one of our major imports, one of our major raw materials is phenol. Now, phenolic raisin is the derivative of crude. As such, when the price of crude increases, there's tremendous pressure on phenol. So we have seen almost a 100% jump in the price of phenol from last year to now. However, the prices of phenol have now stabilized and we have passed on the cost increases to the market. So I think we are in a far better position when you look at margins going forward than what we were for the past year or so. So uh, on a consolidated FI19 uh, basis, uh, would you expect better margins than the last financial year? Um, no, I think that compared to last year, our margins will be flattish or slightly lower. Going forward in FY20, we should definitely be looking at higher margins. Any more price hikes that you will take for now or are you comfortable now? Currently, we are very comfortable. Unless there is a further raw material cost increase, I don't see any price increasing, any increases taking place. All right. Uh, give us a sense of, uh, you know, the other factor that's uh, playing out and this is, uh, I mean, Century would be an ancillary play over here. In terms of the entire housing demand, uh, while one area of the market remains depressed, affordable housing is something that's going up. We have elections coming up. We've had a strong impetus uh, towards spending in the rural economy. What's the experience like when moves like this happen in terms of demand and of course the trickle down effect that comes to uh, companies like Century Ply? Is there uh, something that you'd expect in terms of uptick coming in the next few months? Um, you see, what happens is, once housing is being constructed, at that point, plywood does not figure too much. But once the house is handed over to a customer, to a consumer, then the demand for plywood or for related products starts taking place. As such, the uptake in the housing demand that you are seeing will probably translate into a demand for plywood maybe three, six, nine months hence. So we have not really seen that benefit. There is definitely growth in the market, but it is to a tune of 5 to 6%, which has been the average growth that the industry has seen for the past so many years. Um, so I believe that maybe over the course of the next year or so, we should see a definite improvement in demand due to all the factors that you have said. However, in the short term, during the election time frame, 
what happens is that there is a lot of pressure and there is a lot of crunch in liquidity there is a lot of crunch in demand so i don't think that within the next quarter we are likely to see much growth however post that definitely once a new government is formed there is an increase in spending and the first few quarters are normally quite good point taken so maybe q1 could be a little soft but the rest of the year should be uh, strong just a couple of more questions before we let you go how is the export side of things looking currently what's the uh, revenue that's coming from the export part of business our revenue from the exports would be to the tune of 100 crore um it is a very stable business for us but at the same time it is a high margin business in exports next year this year we have had a slightly difficult year but next year i think we'd be looking at a 20 to 25% growth in exports again and on the debt side of things are you comfortable currently any plans to cut that you have a bit of dollar denominated debt as well any concerns on that um earlier our dollar denominated debt was far higher as a percentage to the total balance sheet we have been sustainably reducing that over the course of the past few years and i think the level at which we are today close to 30 or million dollars is something that we are very comfortable at overall in terms of debt we are less than at a long term debt to equity ratio i think they are less than 2% or 20% So I think the company is quite comfortable. All right, uh, Keshav. Thanks so much for joining in and uh, just running us through the uh, plans at the company. So margin uptick should happen. Costs are coming down. Rupee has stabilized, but on a uh, consolidated basis for FI19, margins may be flat to slightly negative to what you saw in FI18. But going forward, things should improve. Q1 may be a little soft in terms of demand, but uh, expect stronger demand for the rest of FI20. The stock is up about 16 odd percent in the last one month, up about 20, 21 odd percent from its recent lows as well. That's a century ply for you. But on that. note completely out of time on this edition of trending today thank you so much for watching